Welcome back to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to use the free and built-in sun position add-on in Blender in order to get realistic shadow directions. Let me show you. Alright, so I prepared this simple scene where I already camera tracked this short clip and I placed this Susan monkey right in it. I also added holdout objects for the cars and placed a ground plane. I set this ground plane to be a shadow catcher so that when we switch to cycles, you can see that the plane is invisible. However, we can see the shadows that are cast on it. Now, in order to make this realistic, we want the shadows to have exactly the same direction as the shadows in the video that are recorded. So in order to do this, we can use the sun position add-on that already comes with Blender. So let's go up to edit, open the preferences, and in the add-ons tab, I want to search for the sun position add-on. Then simply tick this checkbox to enable it. And when we now go to the world properties, you can see that we get those sun position options. Let's make this a bit bigger. And in order to make this work, we first need a sun object. So let's press shift A and under light, add in a sun object. Now I want to select this as our sun object. And the rotation of our sun lamp is now driven by this add-on. In order to get exactly the same direction of the shadows, we need to know the coordinates of where this video was recorded. So I already prepared this in Google Maps and I know that this clip was recorded right here. So I'm gonna place a pin and then simply copy those coordinates, bring them back into Blender and paste them right here. So now the direction is still not matching up because we also need to set the date and the time of the recording. I also put this down so you can see that this is January 28th, 2024 at 3 in the afternoon. So let's set this 28th of January 2024 at 15 o'clock. Now we also have daylight savings so I need to check this box as well. And you can see that the direction is still not matching up. This is because the north direction of our scene is different to the real world. We can check this if we enable show north and you can now see that the north direction indicated by this blue line is going to the left side. And if we take a look at it in Google Maps, you can see that the north direction should go almost along the street, just a little bit to the left. So let's fix this by playing with this north offset value. And I'm gonna adjust it so that it faces along the street, but just a little bit to the left. And I think now the shadows are matching up with the ones from the real world. Now I know that the shadows are still too bright and not blue enough, but I'm gonna fix that in compositing and not here in the 3D viewport. But let's say you don't want to use a sun object and instead you wanna use the sky texture built into Blender. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, we wanna delete the sun lamp because we're not gonna use it anymore. And instead, I'm gonna open up a shader editor, switch this from object to world, and I wanna add in a sky texture and connect this up with the background node. Now we can simply select this under the sky texture option, and you can see that the shadow is perfectly matching up. It is a bit too strong, so let's bring it down to, let's say, 0.07. And now this looks quite realistic. Again, the darkness and the color of the shadow isn't matching up already, but I'm gonna fix that in the compositing stage of my project. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you could learn something new. And if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Finally, I just quickly want to mention that you can download all the 3D assets I create on my Blender Kit profile for free. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description. Feel free to check it out. My name is Nick, see you in the next one.